Vaccines are the most cost-effective means of preventing diseases, both in children and adults. According to the Ghana Health Service, GHS, immunization services have improved over the years, even though COVID-19 has threatened gains made. With the current vaccine implementation, more than 1.2 million children are protected annually. Partners in health believe pooling resources domestically to finance immunization is key to the sustenance of gains made. The 1% COVID levy should be a seed capital for the establishment of a domestic immunization financing fund to cater for all forms of disease outbreak, present and future. What we are saying is Ebola came and left. We are saying that we have outstanding after the 13 antigens mentioned by our deputy program manager. HPV is on the standby. We have Ebola itself on the standby. We have malaria vaccine, RTSS, on the standby. They are all knocking to enter the EPI routine program. They are not part of this cost. So our proposal is this 1% is a good thing the government has done, but it should be the seed money for immunization financing. The second national dialogue on immunization financing brought together stakeholders from the health sector, including the Ministry of Health, Ghana Health Service, NHIA, PATH, WHO, UNICEF, NITAG, and the Ministry of Finance to discuss possible means of financing immunization domestically. The service says it will pool resources locally to maintain or build on gains made.